Ellis and Hattis see a ram's head on their marital bed, Attach is screaming at the whole house because of this. Garrett and Saren run out into the room, a note is found next to the head. Garrett immediately calls all the guards, he scolds Abidin for allowing such a thing and blames him for everything. Abai tells him that the residents of the mansion should be suspected. The family is discussing what happened, and Hattis says he knows who did it. She believes that Oksha's sister is involved in this, because she was the one who knew how Hattis was afraid of cattle. Hattis is silent about how the true story happened, and the story was like this in the distant past years ago. Oksh kept cattle. Hattis brought gifts and asked Majida, Aksh's sister, to leave her the sheep she liked for matchmaking with Kellis. Majid laughed and said that if Kellis had wanted to, he would have arrived long ago. Upon arriving home, Hattach learns from his brother that tomorrow Kellis Karkin's mother is taking Majai to the Hammond. But Kellis himself does not yet know that his mother liked the girl. At night, Hattis hires workers and orders the rival to be placed in a line pit. Meanwhile, the same Majai, Akin's mother, tells her son about everything and insists that he finish his uncle's business. After learning that Keshi is no longer there, Oren begins to blame himself for this. Shekmas tries to support Afeket in every possible way. He says her defense is now his business. Asuman tells Sana that Doric is not just a coach for her. After breakfast, Hattis tells the cook to make lamb soap. Chapika refuses, but the hostess threatens to hire another cook. Hadija doesn't like that Sheikmas showed up at the mansion without warning, and when coach Doric comes to Asuman, she drives him away. Asuman is angry but with you advises her not to argue with her aunt at least for the first time. Discussing what happened, Saren tells Sona that if Aiken had reacted, he would have done more. The Saren family came to Oksh's funeral. Saren and Ferret join them, and Ferret is trying to talk to Aiken. The conversation doesn't add up. Kazim tells Esen that he will receive everyone who came to the funeral, Oksha, at his house. Esma complains to Ferret that she is afraid to go from room to room, and Ferret assigns his men to them. Aiken is in informed that the case will be resolved in the evening. Saren is surprised, as she has never seen Aiken so angry before. Ledith manages to find out that Oksh was fine before leaving, and then his family immediately wanted a burial. He informs Spirit about this, and then Orkin that he is not guilty of anything. Sono overhears Efeket and Shekmas, left alone, having a nice conversation about children, and Ferret, along with Edge, takes Saren to the mall. There he changes into a clown costume and sings for his favorite serenade. Ferret then gives Saren a ring that they painted together, and he shows her their new store, which he named the safe. Meanwhile, at the mansion, Sona witnesses Aish confessing her love to Abidin. Aish begs Sona, doesn't tell her mother anything, since she will immediately send her to Antep. But an angry Suna immediately goes to the kitchen and tells Shafik everything. In order to protect the girl, Abidin tells Shafik and Ledif that he wants to marry Aisha. Parrot and Saren communicate in a cave. Ferret gives Siren a heart ball and asks her for forgiveness. He says that on that day he communicated with Nira at work, since his grandfather allowed him to open his own brand. Saren says he will definitely remember this to him at the first quarrel, and she also says that her life doesn't make sense without him. No matter what she has achieved in it, Aiken's men kidnap Evge, who gets off the bus. Cousin Pyrrhal arrives at Pelin's with a suitcase and informs her that she will now live with her. As a result, Kaya goes back to the mansion. Pearl still hopes that a flame will break out between him and Kaya. In the evening, Hattis sends a pot of soap to Mejida. After that, Aiken decides that it's time to act. We take the girl from the Karkins. The Aiken command their people. In the evening, Shemus comes to Chasm with Siren. She makes it clear to Ezum that she is close to Kazim, and Kazim, seeing Shekmas, realizes that he knows about them Siren. Suna is trying to get close to Kaya again, but he says he no longer has any feelings for her. At dinner in the evening, Kalasaya says that he does not trust anyone. And now they all have to obey Hatija. Hatija also orders the lamb soap to be served. It also becomes known at the table that Evidin proposed to Aisha. Parrot and Saren go to Evidin's after dinner. Parrot apologizes to him. And they hug each other. Saren asks to tell Evidin about the wedding. Parrot also asks what happened. Suddenly Saren calls Evja. She says that Aiken gave her some documents, and she needs to hand them over. Evja asks Saren to come to the gate. 
Having informed Ferret about this, Siren is waiting at the Ebge gate, but the unexpected happens. Ikin, having eliminated the guards, kidnaps Siren, 